what a difficult uh, hearing with so many topics and how the world changes uh, so uh, often and so uh, rapidly. So I thank the chairman and the ranking member for hosting the, this hearing, and I appreciate our three witnesses and the, uh, express my gratitude for the efforts that are being made to make certain that Americans uh, remain safe and secure around the world. Uh, I need to focus my attention, Madam Secretary, as you would expect, uh, on a conversation that uh, we constantly have, uh, and it deals with the threat of biological weapons, uh, either intentional or uh, inadvertent. And uh, for a long time, the Department of Homeland Security has been the lead agency, the lead department in developing a bioscience, agroscience uh, facility. Uh, and um, uh, I think all the hurdles that uh, have been placed in, in making progress in the completion of this facility uh, have now been completed uh, with the National Academy of Science uh, report that occurred, uh, that was released in July. Uh, you and I had a conversation in uh, early August about uh, the Office of Management and Budget, and uh, I'd, I'd like to thank you uh, personally for the graciousness, the kindness that you've always demonstrated toward me uh, in our conversations and, and your interest in this topic and seeing uh, a, um, a, a good conclusion to this facility being built. Every time you testify, every time I've asked you questions, uh, you expressed your support not only for the facility, but for the location and the process by which that site uh, location was made. Uh, I think we're at the point now, Madam Secretary, in which there is no reason uh, for uh, you, your department, uh, not to allow uh, the facility to proceed. Uh, on, uh, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty now with the contractors that are on site and when their contracts expire. Uh, and uh, all money that has been spent uh, on this facility to date has been the state of Kansas's. Uh, and the Congress has appropriated uh, $40 million uh, for uh, use in the utility plant uh, and another $50 million to begin construction. It seems clear to me that whether or not those dollars are available for those purposes uh, rests in your hands. Uh, as well as whether or not uh, we proceed uh, would require, let me say that differently, it would require also in addition to the money that the land be transferred. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that also rests uh, at, at your desk. And uh, I, my question, I guess, is, is to be broadly asked, uh, now what, Madam Secretary, as we know the, the construction timetable only becomes more expensive, we know the need for the facility, uh, and I'm not certain how long the contractors have a purpose for being on site uh, if you don't uh, release the funds. Uh, and uh, I think Kansas has indicated its strong commitment to this process, is willing to continue to provide resources, uh, work with you to accomplish that. Uh, but in the absence of a land transfer, I, I think our, our confidence that something is going to happen here that our money is being well spent uh, is uh, greatly diminished. And so my question is, Madam Secretary, uh, now what? Um, well, you're right, Senator Moran. Uh, we've had a number of uh, things to uh, accomplish uh, as predicates to being able to move forward with the NBAF, and the most recent being the National Academy of Sciences uh, analysis. I think from all the studies, all the analyses, uh, I think they confirm a couple of basic facts. Uh, one is we need a, a, a level four laboratory, a bio level four laboratory for this country. It, it is uh, an essential part of our security apparatus, as it were. Two, the current facility at, at Plum Island uh, is inadequate as a substitute, although it will have to serve as a bridge and some monies will have to be invested there to allow it to do so while we move forward with the MBAF. Uh, three, uh, uh, as you say, I think it is time uh, that we begin moving forward with the land exchange and the cup, which is the central utility plant. Um, before we do so, I, I hope to uh, host a meeting with the Kansas delegation and perhaps the governor to talk about out-year funding and cost shares and some of the, the things that Kansas has mentioned they are willing to contemplate. Uh, but. Uh, uh, the money for the cup and the 40 million has been held uh, in our FY12 budget. We have an FY12 budget, so we can uh, move ahead. Um, so uh, we will be in touch with your office about when we want to uh, have such a meeting. But I, 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 uh, I think it's, I think it's necessary for the country, and I, and I think it's time to f fish or cut bait.
Uh, Madam Secretary, I always appreciate what you say, uh, and you uh, expressed uh, sentiments that I was pleased to hear. Uh, what, what I would uh, follow up with is uh, you indicated now is the time. Um, what, what's the definition of now is the time? From many of our perspectives, now is the time has been true for a long time. Um, and again, uh, your, let me see if, what your understanding is of what happens on some date, September 30th, uh, October the 30th, when the contracts have expired uh, and uh, the, the contractors leave, we'd hate to have to rebid this. So, I mean, I, I think when you say the time is now, it's not a matter of many months. It's a matter of a few weeks before that's this right. needs to happen. Is, is that true? Yeah, that's my understanding as well. And so what I would hope to do is uh, uh, pull together, and I know some of you will be back in your home states, but uh, it can be done by uh, conference call or people can come up back here. But I would hope to pull together something in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Madam Secretary, I uh, spoke with Governor Brown back last evening. Uh, I spoke with him on the phone this morning uh, during this hearing. Uh, his uh, request of, of me to you is that he will be on a plane today, tomorrow, at, his, at your earliest convenience uh, to, to reach an agreement in which you will sign the transfer. The land exchange, yeah. And uh, will release the $40 million. We will be in touch uh, with your office over the next few days to schedule.